guys. Thank you for watching my video. Um, if you saw my other videos, thank you so much for watching those too and contributing a little bit. Thank you to all my friends. Um, today I want to discuss eating disorders. And to me, there are three different eating disorders. There's anorexia, bulimia, and binge eating disorder. And the third one is the one that I will probably stress the most because that's the one people seem to forget. Okay, first off, there's anorexia. Uh, these people have a seriously, seriously distor distorted body type. This distorted, yes, distorted body type. Um, they can be completely emaciated and look at the mirror and, and see voluptuous curves or whatever, and they just want to get rid of it. So they do everything they can to get to do it, and every little pound is a progress for them and it contributes to how they feel if you lose weight then it affects their day they're happy they feel um like they're worth something they, they feel achieved and it gives them you know like a sense of accomplishment and it's also a thing of control like if your lives can be completely out of whack and just by controlling your eating then, you know, something your body needs, deny, being able to deny your body something like that gives you kind of a rush. I admit it. You know, I used to suffer from that. It gives you a rush. And um, there's a lot of uh, stigmatism when it comes to that also, you know, how people like to just tell them, oh, please, just, just eat a cheeseburger. Oh, my gosh, you look like a skeleton. You're so ugly. Just eat a cheeseburger. But no, it doesn't work like that. Um, they they can't just go out and find the most fattening food ever and just start eating like nothing. They they can't do that. It doesn't work like that. That that makes me that pisses me off. That pisses me off because it doesn't. It, it, you can't do that. Um, <clears throat> you cannot just tell someone like that to go eat the most fattening thing in the world like that. Um, and another thing that kind of goes along with it is bulimia. I have suffered from bulimia for many years. Um, I used to be overweight. I was probably around 200 pounds. And uh, so, yeah, I started starving myself, and then I went to bulimia, and, and now I'm just bulimic. But if with bulimia, it's a cycle with that too, you know. Um, I just start eating, and then once I start, I can't stop. If I have, if I mess up and have something fattening like pizza or, or fries or ice cream, I can't settle just for one scoop or just for one slice. I have to go for the whole damn thing. <laughs> you know, I, I gotta go up. I gotta go after that shit. And then afterwards, I feel, <laughs> I feel guilty. I, I, I'm scared that I'm gonna gain weight and then I look like I used to, and people will be mean to me again. So then I go to the bathroom. Uh, or the next day I completely starve myself and run all day. So that's how it works with me. Um, and there's no, no other eating disorder that, no, I'm saying the best one for last, because this one people do not understand. They do not understand this one at all. Binge eating disorder. Okay, now these are for people who are, um, could be overweight mostly, and they can't stop eating. It's, uh, it's an addiction for them. Food really can be an addiction for some people, just like smoking alcohol is for some people. You know, instead of having a cigarette or something, you know, they eat. And instead of throwing up, you know, they just keep eating and don't care. Uh, and, and they eventually become unhealthy. And these, these people also suffer from a lot of abuse from, from other people, you know. Um, I see a lot of times on the internet and in, in the comments section on, on other things, just out of curiosity, um, there's sites that where like, Americans are fat or um, other things like fat people suck or, or just typing those things in just out of curiosity to see the hatefulness of some people. Um, it's just looking at that stuff makes me sick because they're telling them, oh, you lazy fat piece of mm, or whatever. Um, why don't you just go jog, go outside, freaking starve yourself, go outside, jog 10 miles? No, it doesn't work like that, hon. Because what you have to do is you have to start out from the very beginning. You have to take it slow. And if, if they, because they are so unhealthy, the most menial little task will hurt their bodies. And their body is used to the calories. So if they stop take doing, um, if they start 
eating, you know, less uh, drastically and start exercising, you know, they could have heart failure. And because of the strain and weight on the knees, they can't exactly go fucking run a marathon outside. Now, can they? You know, it, it hurts everything. There, there's joints and everything that, that just puts strain on your body. You know, like, just how when we get old, it's the same thing. But, um, yeah, I, I just want to say, first of all, um, eating disorders, it, it, people have so much confusion about it, you know. Um, and people can be very hateful. So, if, if you see someone who is overweight, you know, you, you don't know them. You don't know where they came from. You, you don't know what kind of crap they've seen or why they have gotten that way. You have no idea. And, okay, you don't even give a fuck. So, well, then why do you even care? Why do you even waste your time in insulting them? If you don't care about them, you don't care about their lives, you know I mean? If you think, if I'm thinking on your side of the story, you know, if I put my myself in your side, you know, who cares? I have too much to do. I mean, I have no time to insult someone and make someone feel like shit. Do you actually get a, a personal gain? Do you, do you feel better after doing something like that? You know, I, I had to be hospitalized because I was, I got so damn tired of everybody calling me fat. You have no idea. It, it screwed up my mind. Um, so, yeah. Um, you don't just go on doing that to people. Um, if, so, like you learned in kindergarten, guys, if you have nothing nice to say, please just don't say it at all. And... Thank you for watching. Bye.